If we wanted to, we could pour a bottle of fuel additive into the gas tank in order to clean the carbon deposits in the combustion chamber. This scum out was formulated to do just that. Another way would be to use the induction method by pouring the additive into the vacuum hose where it's sucked through the air intake manifold before reaching the combustion chamber. Here's another way. Pour solvent onto the piston itself. We begin by removing the spark plugs. The spark plug hole gives us an entrance point directly to the combustion chamber into which we'll pour the solvent and let it soak for a few hours. If you can let it soak for a few days that would be even better. It all depends on how much work the solvent needs to do in order to remove the deposits. I'm pouring about a fourth of a bottle, about four ounces, into each chamber. As your solvent, you could use gum out multi-system tune-up, or seafoam, or Berryman B12. There's a bunch of them out there. You can barely see the solution in the combustion chamber. Some of the fluid will seep past the rings. It's not much, but it's enough so where it might dilute your motor oil beyond safe limits. I used this bottle of seafoam on this one portion of a multi-system tune-up. I let it soak for a couple hours and then removed it by using two different methods. This was the first method. Now I'll start the second way. A simple hand pump works just as well as my modified turkey baster. You pump it out just like this, through the two hoses. What's important is to remove enough of the solvent to prevent hydro lock, which could destroy your engine. These liquids are not compressible and they must be removed before starting the engine. Don't worry about all the smoke you see. 
let your car run for a few minutes and that will burn away the small amount of solvent left over in the cylinders. In a matter of minutes it will start to clear to its normal color.